Rabbi Shmuel Greisman has been the director of the Campaign for the Children's Torah Scroll for over three decades. He is based in Jerusalem, Israel. Erev Pesach it was, right before the day of Pesach. I was approached by Rabbi Ashkenazi of the Vad Rabboni Chabad and asked me that the Rabbonim would like for me to be in charge of the campaign. I undertook the campaign then and ever since then involved in, in, in directing this campaign. A few days later, I get a phone call from Rabbi Klein, the secretary of the, of, of, of the Rebbe, who happens to, also happens to be my brother-in-law. And the Rebbe says to him, Ruf dein Schwager, call your brother-in-law. Er tutach in Sefer He's involved and active in the Sefer Teira. Ask him, how many children have bought letters already? I told him I'll have to count. Give me a few hours. I sat down and counted, called back, and reported the names. When he went back into the Rebbe to, to report on the amount of children, he said the number at the time the Rebbe made with his hands. Das ist mit dem ganzen Sturm. This is with the, with the Sturm and the tumult and, the, and, all the, and all the talk that we're doing about. That's all that came in. He said whatever he said, or maybe that all, not all the names have come into the office yet. The Rebbe thought for a moment and then said, let him call again next week. And ever since then, every Friday, I would get a call from Rabbi Klein. The Rebbe wants to know how many children have already bought letters in Israel and throughout the world. Once somebody buys something, you have to acknowledge that the person bought a letter. The way to do it, the Rebbe said, is not an ordinary standard uh, receipt, but it should be in the form of a certificate with pictures or drawings of the holy places of Israel. The Rebbe pointed out the Kaisel Amaravi, the Kei Rachel, Morris HaMachpele in Hebron, and also the Tzion of Rajbi, of Rabbi Shimon in, in Meiron. And here the Rebbe said something new. The minig is, the custom is amongst Jewish uh, people that are writing Sifri Torah, that the person is told which letter he got, which specific letter the person bought, or which page, or which pusik. Although it's, you have to do something, somebody bought it, tell them what he bought. Nevertheless, it is better to stop, stop letting people know which, which letter they bought, especially children, even though all the letters in the Sefer Torah are just as holy. And if there's one letter missing in the Torah, making no difference in which word, it, if it's a word of God's name or a word of something not pure or not good, if that one letter is missing, the whole entire Torah cannot be used. Nevertheless, the feeling that a child will have, that one child has a letter in God's name, and another child has a letter in a word that he thinks is not special, and worrying about it, therefore don't tell children which specific letter they have. The Rebbe also instructed that the letter should not be chosen by us, by the office, but a lottery should be made, a random uh, connection between the child and the letter. But that one letter, the Rebbe said, is a vessel is a vehicle to bring down God's blessing to the child and also his, his life in involvement in Torah mitzvahs. And it all starts from a letter. That's the importance of a letter in a Sefer Torah. Every Sefer Torah is covered by, by a cover. It's called the mento. The Rebbe drew what should be on, 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 that, on the mento. The Rebbe drew a box, put a line down the middle, said that each side should be gimel tfachim. The Rebbe wrote the word anechi which is the first word of the Aserah Shadibris. He wrote a Beis, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zayin, Ches, Tes. He said the Pasuk, Torah, Tziva, Lanu, Meisha, Meirosha, Kilis, Yankov, should be written underneath the tablet on the Eitz Chaim. The sticks, the pole that the Sefer Torah goes around should have written on it two Psukim, Torah, Tziva, and the Pasuk, Eitz Chaim, He, the Machazikim, those Psukim were on. It was in the middle of Tammuz, that uh, I was able to report to the Rebbe that was, there are enough letters. A week before the Siem Sefer Torah that was supposed to be on Chof of, the Rebbe called in Rabbi Zalman Shimon Dvorkin, who was the rabbi of the community in Crown Heights, and appointed him to be his personal emissary representative to the completion of the Sefer Torah. He should write the last letter of the Sefer Torah that's being written, and also said that since there are more Jewish children that don't have letters yet. So we're going to need, for sure, need a second Sefer Torah, a third Sefer Torah. So he should start and also write the first letter 
of the second Sefer Torah. The Rebbe sent with him $1,200 as his part in the writing of the Sefer Torah, in the parchment and the ink. Children from all over the country came. The writing of the letters was finished. The last letters were written in the Tzemach Tzedek Shul. From there we went down to the Kosel and would crowd at, at the wall that never was uh, full from supply, from no room to, to get into the entire area before the Kosel. Went back to the Tzemach Tzedek Shul for Hakafis. And then this connects the, the second safest letter of the campaign started.